Even the simple, familiar sound of a lawnmower at Millennium Park is music to the ears. Reopened now for the first time in months. I think it's a good way to start. Many today taking advantage of the sunshine and mild temperatures to get a break, albeit with new rules in place for Millennium Park and Maggie Daly Park just to the east. Both of them opening at 8 in the morning and closing at 9 p.m. It's going to be a little bit of a different, unique experience, but I think we're now all accustomed to that after, you know, three or four months of this. For Millennium Park, only one entrance, that is at Madison and Michigan, and only one exit, a block north at Washington. The Crown Fountains, with those familiar faces, is open, but the water is off. And as far as the Crown Jewel, the bean, you can take your picture near it, but can't get up close to it to touch. Not to mention a concerted effort at both parks to limit exposure of those who visit. Face coverings and social distancing are required. And if the park does reach capacity, we will close the park so we can kind of clear people out. And then we actually do have social distance ambassadors in lime green shirts stationed just a couple of them throughout the park at some of the, um, the points where they're bottlenecking so that we can encourage people to keep on their masks as well as to keep moving if we do want to let other people enjoy the experience as well. Moving along will also be the theme next Monday when the city reopens the lakefront trail for bikers, joggers, runners, and walkers. All 18 miles will be open from 6 in the morning till 7 at night with limited entrances. Beaches and other amenities will remain closed for now. And on Wednesday, bars, taverns, and breweries will set to reopen following similar social distancing guidelines as restaurants are following right now with a close time of 11 p.m. All of it good news for Chicagoans. It tells me it's time to get out back to life. Let everyone start living their lives again as carefully as they can. Of course, these uh, announcements that happened today with the reopening of the Lakefront Trail as well as the bars and taverns and breweries happening just a day or so after uh, new numbers came out for the state of Illinois and around the country showing that Illinois is among the uh, biggest decreases in COVID-19 cases around the nation.